Hey guys, you can wear one here. All right, and now here I am with a review for another TV Christmas special. And now I'm going to be talking about the Brady Bunch Christmas special, The Voice of Christmas. So, you all know, I did think that this was a, I thought this was a pretty good Christmas special right here. I mean, I did like how this was kind of like a different turn for a Christmas special than like many other Christmas specials, even like Christmas movies have done, because really not, <laughs> I've really seen, I mean, like, Christmas specials that really do have like this type of story. Well, let me rephrase that. Not really like the, this type of story, but really like, I really like this sort of take on the story before. Yeah, because was, uh, yeah, this was like a pretty different uh, uh, tone for a Christmas special. Well, and that a lot of other uh, specials and movies have done. Yeah, for this uh, special, really the premise of it is just it's about how uh, Carol ends up like losing her voice and she's like worried that she's not going to be able to sing for a church service on Christmas morning. And yeah, yeah then there are really like no signs of her uh, laryngitis going away. And then after uh, Cindy ended up like making a Christmas wish to a department store Santa. You know, like uh, Cindy, Cindy was like really hopeful that like uh, her mom would get her voice back, and then on Christmas morning she does. So, yeah, really like the true like the you know, Christmas wish story on here rather than like you know, I guess something for like uh, someone wanting like a Christmas present or just uh, yeah like you you know this story like just the famous of sort of a Christmas six time like somebody learning about like the true meaning of Christmas and stuff, yeah. It's really not like that sort of a story for the special. This is just really about like a Christmas a Christmas wish and stuff. And so, yeah, and that's really what this uh, special was about. Yeah. yeah. This was for some reason the only uh, Christmas special during the Brady Bunch Bunch series, yeah. I'm not really sure why this was really the only one. And of course, like, until they did the very pretty Christmas uh, TV movie several years later, which was like featured like the cast all grown up and stuff. So yeah, but during like the actual uh, Brady Bunch series, this was the only Christmas special that they ever did. And I thought it was a pretty good. Yeah, it did have some like funny things in here. Like there's this uh, bit in here in this uh, special where. Uh, Mike, Greg, Peter, and Poppy are like trying to put the Christmas tree in the spot Carol wants it in, but you know, she can't talk or anything, and she's just like trying to direct them where to go, and she keeps changing her mind where she wants the Christmas tree put, which, that was pretty funny. <coughs> <coughs> and it does have like some other uh, comedic bits like that in this uh, episode, but yeah. yeah I think like the, the main premise of this, uh, Special has done pretty good, how just, yeah, it really is about how Carol contracted laryngitis and lost her voice, and now she is just worried that she won't be able to uh, sing for the Christmas uh, service at the church. But then, yeah, and even, like, there's one bit, at one point in this uh, special where uh, Greg, Marsh, uh, Peter, and Jan are all considering just uh, postponing Christmas until their mom gets their voice back, but then with some motivation from Alice, yes, then they like get the the message across and yeah, they know that they have to continue on with Christmas. It was would be what their mom would want. And so yeah, I guess that's another thing where they're showing that yeah, you shouldn't like actually like cancel Christmas even when things don't look good like how it is in this special. So, yeah, I like that about it, too. And even, like, when uh, Cindy does make her uh, Christmas wish to that uh, department store Santa for her mom to have her voice back, like, Mike, of course, is, like, just, like, really just, no, like, knows that the, it's not the real Santa, and he just didn't see how the department store Santa could actually grant 
pants and near her wish. It was often even like he was just like trying to um explain to Cindy how um how uh, Carol still may not actually have her voice on Christmas. <coughs> So yeah, so, like yeah, but yeah, in the end, like Carol does end up like getting forced back on Christmas Day, and and yeah, she is able to sing at the church service, and yeah, everything goes as everyone wish as it was. So yeah, so overall, I do think that this is a pretty good special overall. So, yeah, I would probably recommend this, but the chances are, like, since you know how popular the Brady Bunch is, all of you probably have seen this special, so, yeah, I probably don't even really need to recommend it, since, yeah, it's probably been seen by all of you. So, well, yeah, it is done pretty well, and I really do like it. Okay, so, yeah, let me just talk a little bit about the special. Not too much to talk about here, since I pretty much I covered the whole thing, but, yeah, I'll go over it as much as I can, like, the rest of them I've done so far. And so, as the episode opens up, of like it shows that Mike and Alice are wrapping presents, and Mike has a present for Carol, which is like a, uh, which is a, um, a tape recorder, or <laughs> so she can like record her singing and stuff. But then it's like shown that Carol like lost her voice due to laryngitis, and then yeah, she was worried that. Like, she may not be able to sing for the church service on Christmas morning. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, like, Mike, Alice, and, like, different homes, like, trying to, like, give Carol some, like, different sort of remedies to help her gain her voice back. Like, uh, I just, like, one, Carol will, like, just keep her head hidden like under a blanket or something. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And Alice also like tries to pick stuff like a like a remedy of like some sort of a some sort of like mixture like, you know, that is like her a family home remedy of Alice's, though it has like a very, very awful smell. And stuff. And then, yeah, I just, yeah, the family just, like, tried all their different remedies, but none succeeded. <coughs> yeah, and there's also, like, this bit in this episode where, uh, uh, Great Peter and Bobby, like, have presents for, uh, Marcia G and Cindy and vice versa. But, yeah, they're trying to, like, hide their presents to surprise the three. Other three, and they just everyone just like keeps their presents hidden in a closet, in the a parents' closet. And then also like it shows Alice is trying to hide her present as well, but and then yeah, she like tries to put them in the bed when the closet is full, but she like Bobby's hiding under the bed with his present. And so yeah, kind of a funny thing right there. And then eventually, and Mike like went to try to exchange the tape recorder he got for Carol, and then Cindy. And then, like, on Christmas Eve, and, like, went to talk to Santa, and then she just told Santa that she wishes that her mother would have her voice back so she can sing at the church service. And then the Santa, like, just, seeing how just how sweet of a girl Cindy was, the Santa just, like, couldn't say no to Cindy. So, yeah, he then just promised Cindy that he, he will give Carol her voice back. And, um, yeah, like I said, like, uh, Mike just, like, felt that, that wasn't really going to happen, and since, like, he wasn't the real Santa, like I said. And then, like, later on, he was, like, trying to explain to Cindy how, uh, well, Carol may not end up getting her voice back, and then, yeah, well, that night then, it had then, uh, like, a Peter, or <coughs> Jan, Greg, and Marsha all, like, considering just, a, a postponing Christmas until Carol does get her voice back, and then, some words from Alice saying how they would just like take down the tree, throw away the turkey, and yeah, just like get rid of all the Christmas decorations and food and stuff. That's when like the kids kind of like knew that they really couldn't cancel Christmas. 
this and yeah Mike was like listening to the whole thing and he was proud that Alice did like convince the kids to continue on with Christmas and then yeah then the then yeah the following morning on Christmas morning when Carol woke up and she then got her voice back and then yeah she was starting to sing and then it just cut to that church service where she was singing oh come all ye faithful and, and yeah and then it just faded out with the uh, carol continuing to sing with uh, the entire family in the front two pews <coughs> and then yeah the episode then just ended with carol just uh, cindy writing a uh, thank you letter to santa for giving uh, carol her voice back and just saying that christmas is full of miracles and stuff and then that's how the episode ended so yeah so it is a pretty overall simplistic episode since yeah you can probably guess it's like a pretty simple story overall since i got through it so quickly but yeah it is like told like really really well overall and yeah like i said it is a very uncommon christmas story so yeah yeah so there is like a lot of stuff in here to really like say it is definitely worth a watch but yeah all of you probably have watched it before since like i said earlier the Brady Lynch is just like such a popular show so yeah, I don't really need to recommend it because you've watched it before. So yeah, definitely like a, a pretty good special overall. Yeah, like I said, I'm not quite sure why this was the only pretty much Christmas special. I felt that they could have done more for Christmas specials, but yeah, th this is the only one. So yeah, this is just, yeah, so yeah, this is all we can really see, watch if we want to see anything. But whoa, yeah, during the special pretty much TV series, yeah, like I, there's of course like that very pretty Christmas, uh, TV movie, but that's really not really good. So yeah, this is definitely the Brady Bunch of Christmas uh, story that being special that you really do want to watch. So yeah, so it is definitely a real really good special overall. All right, so yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say about it. So yeah, this is I guess this was a my review of the Brady Bunch Christmas special, The Voice of Christmas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.